Hi everyone, Brenton here, uh, pastor at City on a Hill, and I am really excited to be joining, being joined tonight by the Dutois. Uh, we have Ewa, Anli, Esther, and Yanni joining us. Uh, they've been at City on a Hill for two years now. Uh, Anli and Ewa are two of our mainstays at City Youth on Friday nights. Shout out to our City Youth. Um, but really, I'm here tonight because I want to learn more about prayer. And prayer is a family. Uh, I've got two young kids myself. I'm still, I'm starting out on this journey on how to pray as a family. Uh, and the Detroits have been doing this uh, for some time now. And so I thought I would gain some wisdom from them and then hopefully pass it on to you, our church, so that we can kind of grow in this season of prayer together that we're joining in with as, as, a, as a corporate body. And so I'm so thankful for you, Detoise, and thankful for the time that you're giving us tonight. And um, Esther, I might start with you. Um, I would love to know, um, obviously your, your family has been um, growing up in the Lord together for some time now, and would just love to know kind of what, what has um, fostered a value of prayer in your family over the time uh, that you guys have grown up and been praying together? Well, in, in Matthew 12, verse 18, um, Jesus states that where there are two or more gathered in his name, he is present with them. And that's what I strongly believe. And um, so often we experience that when we pray about something and asking the Lord the, Lord the direct question, he would answer us and um, you know, answer us through the Bible. And um, yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Um, I think it's I think it's so easy, right? Just to to take that passage for granted and just think, you know what? Anytime we've got a couple of people in the room, um, God's here, but He is, and He does amazing things. You know, um, uh, Yanni, we were just talking a little earlier about um, just an incredible moment of prayer that you guys had as a family recently um, through a particularly difficult time. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah. So, Brenton. Um... You know, I think since myself and Esther married, uh, got married, uh, Esther was the anchor and pulled us together as a family, you know, every night to, to pray. And so we had an issue where we were looking for a new rental property because the landlord wanted to move back into the property that we're in. And it's a difficult area to find a new property in. And so we decided to, as a family, get together and and pray for that specific issue as well as as, a, as another issue which, which is only um, year 12 and COVID-19 and Zoom classes, that kind of thing. And um, in Mark 2 verse 20, Jesus answered us um, in a piece of scripture where the Pharisees asked him, um, why are your disciples not fasting? And he mm -hmm. said, because the bridegroom is with you. Um, and it was because Jesus was on earth at that point in time. He was with them. So, yeah. um, and then he said in verse 20, he said, there will be a time when the bridegroom's not here. And then at that point in time, that's time to fast. And as a family, we ne we've never fasted before, but we took mm -hmm. that piece of word that the Lord gave us as an instruction or as a guide on how to you know, proceed because we were really desperate. And we were feeling like our prayers weren't answered and, and our timing and God's timing is not always the same, but we were getting desperate. That's mm. what he gave us. And two days later, we were going to fast, but it was really troublesome. We had some health issues and things and, and we couldn't fast. Ten days later, I, I looked at the journal just now and we made some uh, inscriptions in there. And, and ten days later, exactly, myself and Esther really got desperate about you know our applications weren't successful and all of that and we were reminded that on our walk with the dogs we remembered oh we need to fast so mm -hmm. got together as a family that evening with evening prayer and said listen be reminded of this when are we going to do it we all decided let's do it in the following 24 hours we did a fast um and and during the fast you know we kind of spoke to each other before the fast and said you know the purpose for it is you, we're still going to be looking happy. We're not going to go look depressed the whole day. Secondly, we're going to definitely, as a family, pray every time you feel hungry or you're reminded that day, I, I'm on a fast, um, that you would pray and say, if we have these issues, Lord, please help us out. 
Mm. Uh, and, and, and I am going to tell you, that the, God, uh, the Lord made such a great miracle for us. The next day, our agent phoned us and said to us, listen, I've got this place um, that you've applied for and, and it's yours. And it's a place that we really thought we wouldn't get um, wow. at a much lower price as well. And so, you know, to be honest with you, if Esther's our anchor. She pulls us together, together every night. Um, and, and God is our guide and, 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 and we follow him. If we follow him, then he comes through for us. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Um, I know uh, I've, I've, fasting is not the easiest thing to do and it's not the, it's not our kind of our snap reaction to do something when we're in, in a lot of need, but I, it's incredible to hear that story because I've had some similar experiences with fasting. Um, I'll be honest though. I don't know if I ever fasted as a teenager and you and only, I can't imagine that being very easy. I, I miss food as a 30 year old, you know, <laughs> what was that like as, as being as, as teenagers and going through fasting together? It was really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I got hungry, I was like, Oh, we're doing this as a family. I can't, I can't cave in and just eat something. I have to keep it in mind. <laughs> yeah. But it was easy, you know, just, just, it's, it's like a reminder that we're doing it as a family and we're doing it for um, our new house. And it's, it's, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Again. Same here. Yeah. Man, you are, I, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was your age, my gosh, I was eating like three bowls of pasta a day or something like that. I was so hungry. Um, <laughs> anyway, Anli, I'd, I'd love to, to hear from you um, just on your, kind of what you've experienced growing up in your family um, as a praying family. And what, what, is, what is some of the like best advice either you've heard from uh, your folks or as you've been reading uh, just about prayer in general? Yeah, so uh, me and my family, we have, um, we kind of have this uh, thing every single night when we pray. Um, after we pray, we um, take turns on who opens up the Bible and reads and mm. who, um, writes down into the journal. So it's like a turning around in the circle kind of um, turn. So it's like exciting as well. So uh, <laughs> someone opens up the Bible, someone writes down what they hear. And um, usually my dad sometimes explains to us when we don't understand something. Um, and then like after we write down, we write down um, the passage that we got and um, the date and then what we heard through that and what mm. how it links to our prayer that we had. It's really interesting because like afterwards when we want to revisit something, it's like really easy to just open up the book like my dad did. Yeah. Wow. How long have you guys been doing that for? Oh, forever. Oh. It, started, it started off with um, <laughs> the children's Bibles. Um, I think yeah. it really started as it, like when it was Ali and, and we, and we we've must have read 10 different children Bibles, um, you know, and um, there's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been forever. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, I feel like it really started ingraining um, back in South Africa when we were trying to move to Australia and we started really noting down everything and really connecting with the God because with God because we really wanted to move to Australia and like mm. ever since then we just like held that yeah. Wow, that's fascinating. Um, Esther, I might put you on the spot here. I'm going to throw it back to you. I uh, I've I'm a family with young kids. I know at our church we've got a lot of young families with young young kids. What what would you say is a uh, would be a, a helpful way if we if if they wanted or we wanted to get into prayer as a family. What would be a, a good piece of advice for us? Well, I think um, make a certain time in the evening when everything is quiet down after lunch before going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Make that as part of uh, your routine. Mm -hmm. uh, get together, pray together as a family and read a piece of the bible explain it more especially if it's like in a children's bible and then with the kids to bed it's like a downtime thing that we did and then they fall asleep 
<laughs> so you're saying you're saying if we read the Bible to young children, they just instantly fall asleep. Is that it? Okay. It's bedtime, bedtime stories. <laughs> silent prayer in there <laughs> now it's time thankfully we're teenagers now yeah <laughs> sure that's great um hey you are, i'd love to hear from you man um what what what's like a, a great memory that you've had just praying with your family or or an incredible time that you've you've experienced in the lord just in in prayer yeah well after around a year in australia we received word from the Lord that um, we had to build an altar to thank him. Mm. So like we thought about it for like a week and then we decided to make a clock to put like on our front door. Oh wow. Um, yeah, so we all built it as a family together. It was pretty fun to do on like a weekend. And yeah, we finished it and it's on our door still today. Um, there's a verse on it, it's Jer Jeremiah 29 verse 11, and I'll read it out. Um, mm. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Yeah, um, that's on it. We see it every day when we leave the house or when we walk around the house and by the way, yeah, we often during prayer time remind each other of the clock on the on the door. You know, as soon as we lose hope, we're like, yeah, God made a promise. It's on the door, and remember, you know, keep 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 good, you know, keep good faith, you know. I love that. That's such a um, you know, I've I've really been like as a as a young parent. I think one of the things I've been wanting to to think about uh, like what are some of those big milestones and how do you commemorate a milestone as, as a family? And just hearing little things like that, like putting a plaque up on the door that has a passage of scripture, just to remind you of, you know, a huge thing that God's done in your life. What a, what a great way to um, just remember how faithful God's been to you and remind you to pray. Um, well, this has been really, really helpful. Thank you so much, Dutoise. Um, I wonder, um, Yanni, if you wouldn't mind praying for us as a church and praying for our families that we might uh, continue to grow in prayer together. Okay. Uh, Lord, thank you uh, for this uh, occasion and this moment in time where, where I can bring uh, to the, our church in front of you, Lord, and ask you, Lord, that you would uh, please guide the church and guide our pastors um, into the season where it is definitely clear to us through word that you've given us and many other churches and our leaders that it's a time for prayer. Mm. And it's a time for us to get together with friends, to get together with family, um, and to fervently pray. Mm. Lord, so we pray, Lord, that you would remind us constantly um, to do this, that you would help us and teach us yes um, because there's so many distractions in this world and so i i bring city on the hill uh, to you tonight lord and and ask you lord um, please um, hear our prayers and and accept our time that we come to you as an offering lord so that um, you might please be so kind as to save us from the times that we are in and the difficulties that each and every family goes through. Um, yeah. and, and we pray these things, Lord, because not because uh, we think that you owe us this, mm. but because we are trusting in you, Lord. And we know that we cannot trust in uh, the kingdom and the government and, and in the state to look after us, Lord. You are, you are our king, and we pray unto you for... For your help, amen. Amen. Thanks so much, to Twas. This That's is great. <laughs> I'm gonna push.